So when did things turn for you from an investment standpoint, right? Because you guys were like, at some point you convinced investors, I assume, to invest in the next version of Foursquare. And how, how did that process go? Yeah. So we, you know, like we really started the project in, uh, it, it was like January of 2019, um, 2019, January, 2009. Holy cow. Uh, that was a long time ago. And, um, you know, like initially Naveen and I, we gave ourselves like a deadline, right? Like let's, let's, uh, let's pick South by Southwest. Like we'll, let's, let's have something to show people and we'll bring it down there and we'll let people play with it for the first time. Now that was before South by Southwest was like a, a place where you went to, to launch products. Um, I think we were one of the, the first to like really, really do that. But we, we knew like that's, that's where all the tech nerds were. That's where all the dodgeball users were. Like it only made sense to go, to go do that. And then after South by Southwest, we probably, you know, we had a couple thousand people use the app and they brought it back to their, you know, to, to um, you know, Seattle and San Francisco and uh, Portland and Boston. Right. And then it, it started to grow from there, but we didn't really get venture funding until, um, until September, you know, like six months later. And everyone remembers like, oh, you guys went to South by Southwest and then everything was awesome after that. I'm like, no, like, actually everything kind of fell apart after South by Southwest. We, we had access to investors and, um, you know, everyone turned us down. Like we had like 32 no's, 33 no's. I can't remember what the number was, but like everyone that we met said no. Like, hey, you already made this before. This is just a toy. This isn't super interesting. Why would, you know? And so like we were just so, we had such a strong belief in, uh, you know, what we were building was going to work that like, I didn't really care. You know, I had some money saved up from like, you know, we, we sold our company to Google. Right. So I, like, I wasn't like super hungry for a job at the moment. I just, I kind of, I just really wanted to build this thing. Um, but yeah, it was, it was uh, in September that we got our first round of financing done, which is with uh, Unisquare Ventures and uh, O'Reilly Alpha Tech. Your tribe kind of like was the, the sort of New York tech scene. Right. And that seemed like that's the tribe that supported you through this. And, Investors largely didn't, right? Which which is interesting. But I know that as things progressed for you, investors became a very big, um, you know, a, a sort of a big uh, support group for you. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, I think once you get, um, you know, I, I think once once you're in kind of like the the VC circle, like their their job is to support you. You know, they're they're there to help. They're there to help and you know criticize in a productive way. Um, and, you know, that's amplified, I think, when you have like top tier investors and Foursquare has always been fortunate that, um, you know, the fundraising rounds were always competitive. We always were able to get top firms, top partners in those firms. Um, and that that was a, that's a, also a huge advantage for us. You know, Albert from Union Square, uh, Ben Horowitz from Andreessen Horowitz. Um, uh, you know, just like if that's just the first couple of years of the company. Um, and you know we just we just always had access to good people and, and the thing that you get from that is um, you know like good VC firms um, get into good deals and you know good deals are at good companies and so you really you really get to see you know via via proxy the inside of other companies so when we would struggle with something you know Ben could say oh let me tell you how how they dealt with this problem at Facebook or um, you know, Albert could say, let me, let me tell you how Tumblr deal, dealt with this or how Etsy is dealing with this or how um, Twitter dealt with this when this was a problem, right? And so, you know, when you get really great investors, they're, they're on lots of boards, they've seen lots of problems, they've seen lots of solutions. And so they never really tell you what the answer is. They're like, oh, I know the answer to your, to your question, what, what they'll do, like Ben Horowitz is great at this. Ben would never tell you the answer. He'd be like, I'm going to give you a menu of options based upon what I've seen happen at like, you know, Facebook and Twitter and Zynga and Pinterest, and then you can choose the answer that is best for your company. But like, that's, that, I mean, that's invaluable to have. Um, and I think that's what you get from, from great investors like that. 